Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to share with you about the concept of a joint probability density function, the marginal density function, conditional distribution for the continuous random variable of two variable x and y. And for that, I will discuss two examples. In the first example, I'll take the constant limit for both x and y. And for second example, I'll consider the variable limit so that you get an idea how to handle the both situation. So before uh, switching over to the problem solving, let us recall all the important results and formulae. First definition is about the joint density function for continuous random variable. So we will use this notation of f of x, y for the joint density function. It is a probability function for the two variable. And here the two random variable are continuous by nature. And the first condition is how do we declare this f of x, y as a joint density function? The first condition is that they should be positive or zero. That means f of x, y either can be greater than or equals to zero. Second condition is the sum of all the probability density function, that is joint density function, is equals to one. So when we will integrate with respect to x and y from minus infinity to plus infinity, we will get one and third is just an expression which is telling us if we want to find out the probability of any region of xy plane then we will integrate this f of xy over that region right so that is a one point the second is the marginal distribution or sometimes in in the continuity we call it density the marginal density function for x alone and y alone what does it mean it means though we are working over the function of two variable but if I want to write down or if I want to write a function of x variable only a single variable so how we can convert this two variable problem into the single for that if it is x alone in that case we will pick the joint density function and we will integrate or collect all the values of y so we will integrate all the values of y it means we will only integrate with respect to y from minus infinity to plus infinity or depending upon the region of the question so we will add up it means only the x variable will be retained because y will be covered in the integration so in this manner the single variable expression will come and it is called the marginal density function for x and in the same manner if we pick up f of x y and integrate in the direction of x that means we'll take tx and we'll say from where x is starting and where x is ending in that region we will integrate it so we will collect all the values of x here by integrating it means the function of y is only left and we rewrite it as a notation of hy so here the marginal density function for x you i have used the notation gx and for y used a notation hy we can use different notation but only point is it is function of x alone and it is function of y alone and next is a one point from this only that for example there is a problem of function of two random variable and f of x y is a joint density function and we want to find out in that problem a uh, probability of only x variable means there is no information of y is given that means if x is restricted let's say from a to b in that case how we are going to evaluate it we have a two option the option number one is because here no information of y is there it means y can move from minus infinity to plus infinity because y can take any value but x is limited so here we x limit will be same whatever is given in the problem and y can go from minus infinity to infinity we can take up the joint density function and integrate it that is a one way the other way, way is that for example if marginal density function is already with us means let's say we have already calculated and we have to also find the probability of x from a to b that means when x is there the marginal density function of x can be used so we pick the function of x and integrate it from a to b a single integration and then in the same manner it can do we can do it for y also so that is something which we can face the second point is the conditional situation that how do we deal with the conditional distribution when we have a function of two variable so here uh, we are considering only in this discussion the continuous cases 
so for example i want to find a conditional distribution of the random variable y where x is given so how do we write down before switching over to the formula let us recall that when we solve the probability distribution function in probability theory we write down this notation of a this slash b it is a notation of a given b find the probability of a given b so how do we calculate the formula says find the probability of the common divided by the probability of b b is not equals to zero so the same logic is applicable here the notation first of all we should make sure that what is the notation here we will use f we write on y in the front slash x it means what i am looking for i want to find out the conditional distribution of y for given x and the formula for evaluation would be same we divide numerator is the joint probability density function for x and y and denominator is the marginal density function for x right and in the same manner we can swap the situation and if we are looking for what is the conditional distribution for x random variable for a certain value of y in that case the notation will change here the x will return in the front slash y but when we calculate it because the notation for the joint density function is f of x y so we write it f of x y divided by here h y it means we will divide by the marginal density function for y alone so we can recall it that when given x so divided by marginal density function for x when given y is there so we divide it by marginal density function for y alone right so that is one point we should remember now here also we may come across a question or a situation where we will observe that there is a probability of x from two different point from a to b and given y is equals to some value so for that we will find out the conditional distribution of x for given y and we'll integrate it, it from a to b with respect to x and in the same manner if y is to be calculated from two different values for a given value of x so first step is you can find out the conditional distribution of y over x and then integrate it from a to b so in this manner it can be evaluated right so before switching over to the problem solving let us cover one more important point that these two random variable can also be said to be independent or statistically independent or it is just written independent if what we can find out that this joint probability density function can be written as the product of their marginal density functions so for mm -hmm. example if you have to calculate if somebody is looking for show that or find out whether they are independent or not so what are the steps you can find out the marginal density function for x alone marginal density function of y alone take the multiplication if that multiplication is coming back with the original probability density function for x and y then you can declare it to be independent otherwise not so let's see the first example here in the first example there is a situation that some fast food restaurant operate both drive through facility as well as the walk-in they are saying on a random selected day let x and y be the drive through and walk in and uh, the proportion of time that the drive through and walk in facility are in use and they suppose that they are following the joint means they are following this probability dense distribution so their joint density function means their joint occurrence is represented by this f of x y so their joint probability function is given like that and uh, the range is also available so question is asking because we will observe that there is some unknown in the question so the first part of the question is to find k second b and c are to find the marginal density function and the fourth is some situation based the probability and the last one is are they independent so we have to cover the five problems over here so let's say uh, let's recall x they are calling the drive through why they are calling a walk-in facility used so for uh, for this marginal density function means what i need to find out i need to find out g of x and for density function of y we will use the formula which we have just discussed h of y 
and here find the probability that drive through facility is busy less than one half of the time right so it means we want to find out what is the probability of x less than one half of the time so we have to only calculate probability of x less than one of the time right so let us see how we can calculate it let us do the first part first part is to find k and always remember this is one of the important point that whenever we are going to do the question of this continuous random variable of two variable we will first draw the rough sketch then let's see what is the region in the question in this case they have given x is equals to 0 to x is equals to 1 and y is equals to 0 this is x axis and y is equals to 1 so we get to this square kind of region of the question and otherwise it is 0 so to find k we are going to use the one property of the joint probability density function and that says that the sum of all the probabilities means all the probability density functions joint probability density function is equals to 1 so here we if we see the problem let us see what is the problem here f of x y is given as k times x plus 2 y so we are going to use it here we will see because in this function is valid only x is from 0 to 1 and y is also from 0 to 1 so let us begin with the value so here x is from 0 to 1 and y is also from 0 to 1 and there is a k and the function is x plus 2y dx dy right now what we can do we will start integrating because the limits are constant so we can integrate one by one or what else i can do we can write down k outside and i'll open the two integrals separately so we can do it like that also i'm opening this bracket one is with x dx dy and second bracket is 2 times from 0 to 1, 0 to 1 and we have to integrate y dx dy and in this case what will be the step? Now we will do integration. Now I am going to use the shortcut where what we do if we see that all the four limits are constant and we have only x and y's are multiplied so we can integrate them together. So I am going to do the first integration x integration is x square by 2 and limit of x is from 0 to 1 and side by side I can do integration of y there is no y function only dy is there and integration of dy is y and it will be also from 0 to 1 the next integrand is here 2 times there is a y and integration of y is y square by 2 and we have to in put a limit 0 to 1 and since there is no x function only dx is there so we can write on x and that is from 0 to 1 so in this way what we will left with when I plug in the value of x here x square means 1 square is 1 1 minus 0 is 1 by 2 and here also 1 and this 2 and 2 will get cancelled plus when I put 1 square in y so it will be 1 minus 0 will be 1 and the second limit here also 1 and and uh, one thing more I have to write down this all value so I have just integrating all this integral this side I am writing the left hand side so when I will solving left hand side so left hand side is equal, comes out to be k times 3 by 2 right so when I take an LCM so it will be 3 by 2 which is equals to 1 which is RHS right so from here I can get the k value so k is turn out to be 2 by 3 we can do it side by side but I have so first simplified the left side here and we can equate it equals to 1 1 and then question can be evaluated so we uh, have done with the k value so for this question k comes out to be 2 by 3 now the second part is the to find the marginal density function for x so how do we calculate it let us recall the formula the formula for gx which is a notation for marginal density function what we do we integrate minus infinity to plus infinity the joint density function with respect to y so here we for that what you can do you can put a stripe of this side 
and see what is the lower line here lower curve is y is equals to 0 the upper curve is y is equals to 1 and what we can do 0 to 1 and the function here is k times so k is 2 by 3 so I'll write down 2 by 3 and the function is here x plus 2y and we have to integrate with respect to y so here only integration is with respect to y so how we are going to do 2 by 3 as it is now since there is only x x is not the participant x will be remain as a constant that means integration of 1 is y and limit is 0 to 1 plus there is 2y so integration of y is y square by 2 and limit is 0 to 1 that's it and when we will simplify it by putting the limits so when we put limit of y as a 1 so we get x times 1 minus 0 is 1 right and this 2 and 2 to bit get cancelled and when I plug in the value of y here 1 so 1 square is 1 1 minus 0 is 1 so we are getting gx is equals to 2 by 3 x plus 1 and it is working over what this is working over let us write down nicely here it is working over just a minute yes so we can write down this is valid for 0 to 1 right so now gx is turn out to be so you can say that the marginal density function for x alone is gx and it is 2 by 3 x plus 1 x from 0 to 1 and how we can find out for the y so for y in the same manner we write down h of y from here I'll directly write down the limits because in this question you can see the limits for this is 0 to 1 and we have a 2 by 3 the function is x plus 2y and now we have to integrate with respect to x so when we will integrate with respect to x so what will happen x square by 2 plus 2y x and that is from 0 to 1 so it means we have to put in place of x only so what will be the expression so we have a 1 by 2 x value is 1 square is 1 1 minus 0 plus here we have a 2y and limit for x is 1 minus 0 so we can calculate it in this manner and what we are observing we are getting 1 by 2 plus 2y inside the bracket and after simplification we see that what is gy is hy is equals to when I take an LCM and 2 and 2 will get cancelled so I get 1 by 3 1 plus 4y because here we have a divided by this 2 and 2 will get cancelled so we will get 1 plus 4y by 3 and here y is also valid from 0 to 1 the fourth part of the question is find the probability of x less than half now I want you to remember this formula here it is just let me see yes not this one is this one uh, here because my interest is only in x it means y can be taken from minus infinity to plus infinity so we are going to implement it in the same manner so how I'm going to integrate it so it means since it is a function of x and the problem is of two variable now at this point is very important to remember that we are working over the joint density function right but the question is about probability of x so what can be done we can pick from minus in we will pick from I'll, I'll take it from here gx because it is less than half so it means let's say x is half here and we have to be less than it that means this region this region is the question region so here how do we calculate because g of x we will pick and integrate from 0 to half less than half means the beginning of this region is from 0 and we will integrate it with respect to x 
right the alternative ways you can use from x from 0 to half and you take uh, y from 0 to 1 and then you take 2 by 3 x plus 2 y and you integrate y first that become your gx actually and then integrate so instead of doing this double work when whenever you are already available with the marginal density function for x variable and you have to calculate the probability of only x function then instead of doing the double integration what can be the better option pick the gx and integrate whatever is the limit of x available so your x is less than half means the starting value of x in this region is zero so we'll go up to half and integrate it so here the gx value is already with us and it is let us see what is the gx value it is 2 by 3 x plus 3 so we are going to use it so 0 to half 2 by 3 uh, we will take here x plus 1 dx so the integration will be x square by 2 plus x from 0 to 1 by half and after simplification we are going to get the answer 2 by 3 1 by 8 because 1 by 2 half square is 1 by 4 into 2 will be 1 by 8 plus 1 by 2 and lower limit is 0 so after simplification we will get 5 by 12 after taking LCM and cancelling so these were the four part of the questions done the last part is that uh, are x and y independent so for independent what we need to check we have a joint density function if we can find that this joint density function is exactly equal to the product of the marginal density function of x and y so here i have used the notation gx and hy so we will see so here i have written everything what is needed here gx hy is available when i took a product and we observe that we come up with this expression and this expression even after simplification is not going to be equal to this 2 by 3 x plus 2 by which is a joint density function so we can declare that x and y are not independent right so in this manner we can verify let us do the last question here the question is about some situation where the candy company distributed box of chocolates with the mixture of cream toffees and cordials and they say that weight of each box is one kilogram but the individual weight of the cream toffee and cordials vary from box to box they said a randomly selected box if we say x is the weight of the cream and y is the weight of the toffee respectively and they will give us a joint density function as available here then the question is asking or find the marginal density function for weight of the cream and one more problem is there the probability that weight of the eight weight of the toffee in the box is less than one by eight of kilogram if it is known that the creams constitute three by four of the weight so what does we mean to by this problem it means in this problem if we jot down all the notations and information x is the weight of cream y is the weight of toffee and the region limits given to us x from 0 to 1 y from 0 to 1 there is one more condition the sum of x and y should not exceed obviously because uh, the boxes of 1 kilogram their together weight should be not exceeding 1 right and 0 elsewhere so this is a function given to us and uh, the, there is do, two part of the question the marginal density functions is we know that it is gx and by this statement what do we look for it means we want to find out what is probability of y less than 1 by 8 given that x is equals to 3 by 4 so that is our required probability so let us see how we can calculate it so the first part is let us draw the diagram because which is must for it because with diagram we get an idea what are the bounds x is between 0 to 1 so we have drawn these two lines x0 and x1 y is between 0 to 1 so there is a x axis which is y is equals to 0 and this is y is equals to 1 right so when we draw these two conditions we get a square but there is a one more condition that sum of x plus y should not be more than 1 so we can draw this line x plus y equals to 1 
now either this is the region or this is the region so we have to see verify the sum should not be more than one we can randomly pick any point for example if i take this zero here so i know that zero plus zero is less than one so it means this side is the side because let's say if i take any point here even the corner point i can take one 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 plus one is two and we know that it is more than so we get this lower side of the triangle is the part of the question so first we should identify the region of the problem if many uh, other curves or lines are available so that is very important because then only we can perform the correct integration so that is done this is the region triangular kind of region the right, this triangle and next is to find a gx since in this case we have a slanting line so variable limit will come so what is the step so here you have to pay attention how we are going to deal with the problem we will take gx here f of xy and dy and we have to write down the limit now since it is a marginal density function for x so it means we will take a stripes in the y direction right that means we will integrate dy now for that we have to read from where this stripe is starting because the general stripe so this is a lower curve and lower curve is a x axis and equation of x axis is y is equals to 0 so the lower value is y is equals to 0 in the same manner when we see the upper limit the stripe touches this slanting line and this is a variable line it is changing with the situ point so here the limit will be variable so we will find out what is y here so when we simplify y is equals to 1 minus x so we get g of x is equals to y is equals to 0 to y is equals to 1 minus x and the function is 24 x y dy so we have to integrate it right so here you can see i have already solved it so that we can save time so here let me explain i've already shared with you this stripes part so we can see that here integration of y is to be performed so 24 and x is constant at the moment only integration of y with respect to dy is done and when we integrate y with respect to dy it is y square by 2 and when we plug in the limit upper limit is 1 minus x so when i plug in 1 minus x we get a 1 minus x whole square and this 2 will cancel with we get a 12 here so 12 x 1 minus x square and we get the limit of x is from 0 to 1 so in this manner we get the gx so our gx is turned out to be this function so we calculated the first part now let's see what is the second part of the question second part of the question is to find the probability of y less than 1 by 8 given that x value is 3 by 4 so here what are the important points or what are the important steps to follow so i have written in terms of the steps whenever you have a question of the two variable and this kind of situation conditional problem is asked so first point is we need a marginal density function here we observe that x is after slash so marginal density function of x is needed and notation 5 the marginal density function of x is gx it is already calculated right we have calculated so we have, we will use it so this part is already done in the previous part we have to do the step 2 which is a conditional probability of y given x and this can be evaluated or calculated by writing the joint density function in the numerator and marginal density function of x in the denominator and we will simplify to get this expression and the last step would be to calculate it we will because here we have to find y less than 1 by 8 so we can take all the value which are less than 1 by 8 and we will add up till 1 by 8 so it is integration of y from 0 obviously in this question y lower value is 0 so we will start from 0 till 1 by 8 and we will add all the conditional probabilities when x is equals to 3 by 4 so let us see one by one the first the second step we are uh, discussing here when we will calculate it f of y slash x so numerator is f of x y denominator is 3x so we plug in the value of f of x y which is 24 x y and gx value we have just calculated in the previous part 
12 times x 1 minus x square and after simplification 12 and will go with 2 2y 1 minus x square after cancelling x also so this is our uh, f of y slash x now this is important to mention the range of y we know that y is from 0 to 1 minus x y because we know that here y can take this region so whatever is the y value it can go up to maximum of 1 minus x so here for example when I am fixing my x is equals to 3 by 4 so when we plug in in this question 3 by 4 so it means 1 minus x value will be 1 by 4 means y can go up to if you see this part y can take any value between 0 to 1 by 4 for this part let's say here this is a value of x as a 3 by 4 so for that I know that here the maximum value y can go only up to 1 4 so we know that 1 by 8 is less than 1 by 4 so integration can be done so we can get it this value of y between 0 to 1 by 4 this all depend upon the question because in this question y ranges from 1 minus x so that we have calculated in this case and when we apply the probability of y less than 1 by 8 it means integrate this means we have to integrate 0 to 1 by 8 this y slash x is equals to 3 by 4 and we know that it is 32y dy and we will integrate it and after integration of this y we get this formula after means 1 by 8 and then the answer is turn up as a 1 by 4. I hope you understood the concept of this joint probability density function, marginal density function and conditional density function with the help of these two examples. Thank you.